What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm really excited because it's actually not me in today's video. We are getting a guest upload from Yu-Gi-Oh! Replays. Now, I actually had the chance to look up his channel and I was like, wow, this is really, really cool. If you guys like competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! content, make sure to check out his channel because he goes through DB high rated matches, explains the content, commentates on it. And on top of that, he is really, really knowledgeable on what he's talking about. Trust me, I was really impressed when I saw his channel. So if you guys want to help support, make sure to check out his channel. The link will be at the top of the description below. Today, he's going to be going through Heroes versus Earth Machines. Super, super fun matchup. If you guys wanted to see some high rated competitive elemental hero or vision hero or omni hero content i guess you should say so i don't want to keep this intro too long make sure to check out his channel make sure to like and subscribe if you guys do enjoy this content and with that let's get into the video hey what's up youtube so today is another high rated Dunuk match and today it is not actually on my channel this is going to be a guest upload on spanko's channel you know i want to thank spanko so much for giving me the opportunity to go ahead and do a guest upload uh, i really appreciate it for anyone who doesn't know my channel Yu-Gi-Oh! Replays is a channel based around mixing, entertaining, and educational Yu-Gi-Oh! content when it comes to the competitive side of the game. I will be covering a hero replay here. We see heroes going up against Earth Machine. Both of these decks are albeit are a little bit uh, less seen currently competitively. You know, I think this is going to be a very good match. We see the blue player going first, open up the overdrive, called by goes and match, urgent schedule, and ancient gear box. Opponent will be finding the honest Neos, Nib, Droplet, Foolish, Burial, and Stratos. Um, the biggest problem I could see happening here is that the red player gets caught under a weird attribute under goes. And to be totally honest, I don't think it will be the uh, actual engine that hurts him the most. But, you know, hey, we just got to find out. So, unfortunately, he did brick here. Not going to be finding any of his starters which is kind of crazy given how many he actually does have <laughs> now if he's going second the urgent schedule frankly just fixes this but he is going first and alongside a brick like box so that will not be it so i'm gonna pass over and find the poly off the top here gonna go for stratos effect to search out here looks like that will be fine gonna be finding the liquid soldier here and we really just gotta watch out for this goes match here he's gonna slap down the foolish burial that will be fine that's gonna be dumping the shadow mist and then be able to go for shadow mist effect shadow mist will be finding the malicious here <laughs> and then uh looks like he's gonna go for poly and then shit in the goes match oh no so it's like it, oh man i wonder if he even has like a wind i mean because if you have, you essentially have to pick like a good wind here, right? Because at this point, you know, I know the deck really loves to go for uh, darks here, but you're just going to have to work with what you got. <laughs> uh, send off the Liquid Soldier and go for a Great Tornado here. Then able to go for Liquid Soldier Effect, you know, just take a little bit deeper. Uh, when your opponent says that they're going to read your cards, <laughs> that's a good sign, you know? <laughs> you feel good about that. Uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, dump the Mally here, obviously. Uh, just go ahead and punch for 28, pass turn, and then Urgent Schedule comes down. Chain the Ash, but he has the call, but oh, that, oh. Oh, that stings. That hurts. Um, but yeah, so he's going to go ahead and be able to resolve that effect. Getting out the Harvester and the Bullet Train. <laughs> uh, going to go ahead and looks like he's going to pass it over, finding the Machina Redeployment. Okay, and yeah, it's going to be able to unclog this hand here, dropping off the Ancient Gear Box. It's going to go ahead and find the Gear Frame plus the Fortress. Okay, that's really nice here. And I mean, so he will be able to go for a little bit of a combo line here, but we do have to keep in mind that the red player has a nib, which cannot come down until the wind is taken off the board, because I'm pretty sure the way this ruin works is that you can't use an effect to try to special delight because you have a wind, right? So essentially, he's going to go ahead here and now get out this fortress here, move the bullet into attack mode, take the harvester, turn it into a goliath, and then move into the battle phase here. Go for fortress punch over, but little does he know. Okay, so yeah, he's going to go for fortress, uh, just crash into it and go for effect. That effect is going to be able to pop the droplet and then be able to go for Citadel to bring back the Citadel, put it on board, Citadel sweated, and then during the damage step, he's going to go for Honest Neos and yeah. <laughs> That's a, that's a bummer. <laughs> because in the, in the blue player's mind, this is like the freest game ever, right? You, you got your opponent locked in, goes in, and you're just going to go straight for game. And Honest Neos says, absolutely not. <laughs> uh, yes yeah, so he's gonna move into m2 unfortunately here move into the double headed anger knuckle here go for end phase and yes get the super picking up the box you know really nothing too crazy so since he did pick up the box he gets box effect as it does not have to be from deck to hand it's the same wording on the uncle's bar which i think is very very helpful uh you know just promotes even more synergy with a card like the super express and yeah so he's gonna go ahead and find another vion here which is obviously not the best thing in the world and he will go into battle phase or at least attempt to go into battle phase before we we do that we'll go ahead for double headed as this has to activate during the main phase bringing out the super express here move into battle phase punch over the gear frame and he will go ahead and go for the overdrive here interesting so he's gonna go ahead and special summon out another gear frame here 
And then it looks like, oh, yes, since the car, since one, since one of his guys did get popped, he can go for Citadel Effect to bring again back once again. And yes, yeah, so he's going to explain sort of what's going on here. And yeah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we, the, the Citadel will be allowed to return here. And then it looks like he will go for Citadel for anyone who doesn't know. Really just like kind of like a one-time butler. Uh, so I mean, your guy has more attack. He's going to go ahead and target itself to be able to, you know, go ahead and wipe the board for any 3k or lowers here. Uh, knocking down the Great Tornado. But what that does say is that, hey, we can go ahead and play some Dark Heroes. Because frankly, most of the current meta-relevant hero deck is just you're mostly playing dark mons right so i'm gonna go ahead and drop the denier here go for mali effect mali special summon out another copy of mali from the deck here and then it take those two and that's gonna turn into a verte oh man <laughs> you know sometimes verte is just the play here so he's gonna go ahead and go for verte pay 2k feeling quite okay drop off the fusion destiny uh drop the plasma and the draw hand kind of fun to not see celestial dasher for once right go ahead and go for this dpe here plop it down and then try to go into the end phase here so he will get the bullet train f to get back another card but to be totally honest i think the red player will be fine in this situation just because he does have the dp and then once the dp can get out of here realistically popping the golden match as the blue player tries to move into battle phase he can go ahead and activate this nib here clean up the board and go into his turn and realistically do uh a lot of damage so yeah we're gonna go into end phase here and it go for dp effect here it's gonna pop the verte and the gozen match pass it over to the opponent we'll find heavy four <laughs> that's a really nice starter here and then in standby phase gonna go for draw hand to just get the guy on board you know just have a little extra protection here and then as we continue on here m1 will be okay go for the heavy forward effect it's going to get him a search out here for any of the infinite track names getting the brutal dozer hopefully this won't be too brutal for his opponent going to go for a trencher special the tribute off another go for the brutal dozer no effect going to take those two here and go for the river stormer and now he's going to think here if he wants to go for the dpe and he's going to say no effect. Uh, just go for effect of Riverstormer finding the gear frame, which is a really nice way to go ahead and access his Machina engine here. Uh, something I really do like about the Machina uh, Infinite Track, like, or just whole Earth Machine package is that both of the engines typically have a way to kind of like go into each other, right? Like, if you can go for Ballista, you can go for Box, which gets you one of your Infinite Track pieces. Or, you know, if you have your Infinite Tracks, you can go for the Riverstormer and get to like the gear frame, right? So, you know, very, very nice to have that type of synergy for any deck, really. Uh, now, we'll go for the Cleafor Genius, and this can potentially ignite the dpe it looks like he's gonna allow it to go through wow okay yeah i guess he just does not want to get he just wants to leave this guy on board as you know just def a defensive play now taking the river stormer going to the goliath gonna go ahead and go for a double-headed anger effect special by dumping that harvester banish three go for the ruin force and <laughs> Red Flare says, I don't know what's going on, <laughs> honestly. So, you know, whenever I say, and I say this a lot on my channel, I say, if you're playing a deck that most people don't know, uh, you get a benefit. Yeah, that, that's that's your benefit. That's your benefit. Now he's going to go ahead and uh, bring back this River Stormer here, uh, move it to attack mode, and then try to move into battle phase. And yeah, just, you know, <laughs> whoosh, <laughs> just a nib, <laughs> whoosh. So yeah, Nib will be successful in crashing down here. And then it looks like, yeah, so it's over 10k guaranteed. Now he will be able to go ahead and go for Rune Force once again, Special Summon, as Rune Force effect, especially from the graveyard, is not once per turn. And yeah, he's going to go ahead and explain that to his opponent here. He's going to go ahead and explain that to his opponent here, being able to knock down the Nib. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to explain that uh, very thoroughly there. Going into M2, go for the overdrive. This essentially is going to be a mini Avarice. You would call it like an Emerald. You just put three back and then draw one. Go for Trencher Effect, getting another one out of the graveyard. It's like, you know, once this deck really gets rolling, it just, it does have a bit of, you know, sort of strength behind it, right? So going to go ahead and get out the Tunneler and then go for Goliath once again. Go for the Tunneler Effect in graveyard to put back five this time and draw two. Realistically, at this point in the game, if you're the blue player, you really want to be finding some of these like and he will find the Gozen passing over, finding the match change. I don't know if that will do it for him. Let's find out. Gonna go ahead and go for Denier Effect. Something I love about Denier is your ability to just reset your uh, Valley Effect. So it's like, you know, Mali is at two, but if you're playing Denier, it's like, hey, we can just <laughs> put it to three ourselves, right? Uh, now we'll go ahead and for go for Mali Effect in Graveyard, Special Summon, and then take those two. And it looks like that's gonna be able to just turn into the extra hero Cross Crusader Go for Effect. And if you want to, you can just grab back the DPE. Oh no! 
<laughs> that's gonna be the game we're going into game two. Okay, so going into game two here, we're gonna see the blue player open up the Gozen, Anti Spell Fragrance, Redeployment, Citadel, and Heavy Forward. Opponent's gonna find Miracle Fusion, Ferris, Increase, Plasma, and the Vion. This is gonna be a little tough just because I do know that when you're playing heroes, you do activate a lot of spells, particularly a lot of normal spells. So a card like Anti Spell really might cause a lot of problems. Now, we don't see him having a lot of spells, but frankly, uh, you know, the deck will realistically get to a lot of spells for, uh, you know, fusion summoning out your fusion mods. So for the blue player starting off here, we're just going to see him go ahead. And I mean, he really does have a lot of plays here, to be totally honest. <laughs> uh, you know, if you're playing Earth Machine, this kind of just as good as you're going to get, right? Uh, you have the Searcher, you have, I mean, you have the starter for your Machinas, you have the starter for your Infinitrack engine, plus two Floodgates. I mean, that's pretty decent for going first. It's really, really strong. I'm going to go ahead and take these two here, going into the Gear Geekin X, a real big throwback uh, for if you're playing the game like eight years ago. Uh, now, going to be able to send some off here for the Fortress, take those two, go into the Ballista, go for Ballista, get out the box, go for Box, get to an Infinitrack name, uh, realistically, the Trencher here, send both of those off, going for the Fortress, go for Trencher Effect, banish, and get back the harvester then go in for harvester effect on board here it's gonna be able to pick up the brutal dozer and then go for harvester effect making both of those nine gonna be able to put down the I, this name gets me every time <laughs> enter blath near okay i got it <laughs> uh but yeah so now he's gonna go for enter blath near effect to banish a random one from hand you know um oh you will find the plasma that probably is not bad. <laughs> that probably isn't that bad. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just continue comboing off here. Go for Heavy Forward, picking up the Tunneler from deck to hand. Take that attribute off for the Tunneler. Take those two. Go into River Stormer, River Stormer Effect, picking up the Super Express Bullet Train. Take that, rotate into a Goliath again. You, you know, you really want to get a lot of these Goliaths in Graveyard. Really helps as fodder for, you know, when you're trying to shuffle back and draw. Now he's going to take, go into a third Goliath and then take both of those going into the Anger Knuckle here. Go for the Tunneler putting back five here and a drawing two you know hopefully at this point you're just looking for some more defensive cards Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the defensive cards you're looking for. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, set down three here, uh, get back the Fortress again, and then be able to go for Super Express Bullet Train, get back the Brutal Dozer for follow-up, and then pass it over to his opponent. Now, as we go into the opponent's turn, let's see what he can top that he's really going to need something helpful. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I'm going to flip over the Anti-Spell Fragrance, really putting a stop to any sort of fusioning his opponent can do here. Going to go ahead and go for Vion, drop the Shadow Mist, go for the Shadow Mist effect, and that's going to be finding him the Mali here from deck to hand. And then go for Vion Effect, banishing off the Shadow Mist, picking up that Poly. So outside of this Gozen match and the Anti-Spell Fragrance, there's nothing else that the Earth Machine player can do to interrupt the Red player. And that's frankly something that, I think that's something that's really just kind of holding the Earth Machine deck back quite a little bit. And he's just going to go ahead and go into a Verte here, Verte Effect, send the spell, you know, being able to sort of uh, circumvent that Anti-Spell Fragrance is very, very nice. <laughs> Feels wonderful. Uh, drop the Fusion Destiny, drop two names out of deck and it looks like he's gonna go for honest neos and the denier here <clears throat> it's gonna get out the dpe and then from here i'm gonna go for double headed that's going to get back the bullet as just another line of defense here and then moving into the battle phase gonna go ahead verte punch over that go for citadel effect in graveyard and now he does have a source of interruption right and he's gonna go try dpe swing over citadel that will be fine then go for dpe effect pop in yeah, so popping him, and now it looks like he's just going to go take a shot at this back row, and going to go for the, be able to find the goals in match, hey, it's not bad, right? Uh, put down these two spells, and then, it, yep, uh, Bullet Train, going to go ahead and pick up the Harvester once again. This is not looking too good. The Lancia will come down in standby phase here. Not the worst thing in the world, DPE does return, and then from here, going to go ahead and start off with this Harvester here, searching from deck to hand, and realistically, outside of this DPE and uh, Lancia, you know, that's all that's going on, so he's going to go ahead and take these two um, after that Harvester effect to go for the infinite track earth slicer this one reads here you can detach any number of materials from this card then target that many cards on the field destroy them and secondly and then if this card is in your graveyard you can tribute a machine link monster and special summon in the fence position and yeah so as we continue on here he's gonna go ahead and just go for this dp effect once again <laughs> uh sending off the verte popping the xyz here then he gets to go for citadel and i mean this is really tough right it just you want to go for this dp and you want to keep popping mods on your opponent's board but it's like every time you do that citadel just keeps coming back it's like 
like you know <laughs> Uh, it's, it's kind of wild, right? Uh, so yeah, Machina Citadel will be reviving here. Then you go for the double headed, uh, just to give that back as well. You know, just a lot of things coming back from the graveyard here. Special summon the Brutal Dozer. And, you know, one of the things that's really strong about Earth Machine is that, uh, just the power of sort of recursion it has where if it can really slow down the game state to a sort of pace that they're comfortable with, they can oftentimes really just take over the game because they just have, they just continue to have so much pressure and apply that pressure over and over and over, right? So he's going to go ahead and search out the Derek Crane here, go into another Goliath, go for Derek Crane special, and then from here, take those two go. It's oh no, <laughs> yeah, we're going to a game three. Uh, yeah, so Rail, Rail Cannon, Gustav Max, uh, detach, you know, burn for 2k, and then go for Lieb, go for Derek Crane effect, pop them on, and we're going to a game three. As we go into game three, <laughs> we're gonna see the red player open up with the Ash Blossom, E Emergency Call, Droplet, Vision Hero, Ferris, and the Cross Out Designator. Cross Out will be helping tremendously this game. Game. Opponent will be finding the Ancient Gear Box, a Drone Lockbird, Machina Rune Force, Harvester, and Ash Blossom. We're gonna move into standby phase, go to M1 and go for the E call. And oh, uh, you know, you know the blue player sitting there just like ready to drop this droll. But little does he know. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and find the Shadow Mist here, drop the droll, and then we're gonna see their cross out desert come down. You know, you see the blue player put up the thumbs up, but are they really okay? Uh yeah, so he's gonna banish the droll from his own deck here and drop the Shadow Mist to go for this Ferris, and then at some point here, you know, it, it's not over for the blue player here he still has this ash blossom in hand gonna go for a mist and then a ferris chain link two gonna be able to put down the increase and pick up the stratos here and then go for increase tribute off the ferris special summoning out the vion go for vion effect here uh gonna be dumping out the malicious then go for vion effect uh go for the second effect i should say i'm banishing off the ferris getting himself a free poly you know i wonder how far you can really go with this type of hand right so he's gonna go ahead and it normal from the stratos that will be eating the ash you know very understandable uh you're gonna take these two here and go for the extra hero cross crusader crusader effect bringing back one from the grave here you can be able to bring back the malicious and then go for cross crusader tribute off the mally and then from here he's gonna be able to pick up a liquid soldier which is gonna be very helpful as he goes for this poly he's gonna be activating poly sending off the cross crusader and the liquid go for sunrise go for uh liquid chain like one sunrise chain like two picking up this miracle fusion draw two and then discard one so he's gonna find an extra ferris and a plasma and then at this point he's gonna take those two turn it into an extra hero wonder driver okay and now he's gonna go for mali effect and graveyard getting out this free special gonna go into the zone where wonder driver points to and then as he does that you can go ahead and look into his graveyard and then reset this poly here which is very very nice <laughs> and then activating that poly to go for a dpu without even needing a verte <laughs> so at this point he will be finding a tunneler but this is a really tough predicament to be in because frankly the rune force and the box are doing absolutely nothing so this harvester needs to go through and not get knocked off the board right so essentially if the harvester if the harvester stays on the board, he might have a shot. Okay, so it's gonna the search is going to resolve. Uh, gonna go ahead and find the brutal dozer, but he needs this to stay on the board. If he DP clears this, it's over. It's just over right there. He's gonna get. Uh, yeah, it's just he's gonna get gamed on the follow up. Oh, and the DP comes through. <laughs> DP comes through. Gonna go ahead and you know blue player is pretty sad here. Gonna go ahead pop both of those, activate the DP effect, and there's nothing the Earth Machine player can do. Hero player takes it, and that will be the match here once again. I want to give an incredible thank you to Spanko for letting me go ahead and do a guest upload. I do this type of content daily on my channel, so you know if you enjoyed what you saw here, you know feel free to check me out down below. Uh, take care, guys, and have a great rest of your day. So that is it. Again, I just want to say a big thank. Thank you to Yu-Gi-Oh! Replays for sending this over to the channel and sharing it with us. As you guys saw with this video, the guy really knows what he's talking about. And if you guys want to go help support him, make sure to go check out his channel. Link will be at the top of the description below. I appreciate you, brother, for sending this over and sharing it with us and sharing it with the Spanko community. It was a really fun video to watch. I appreciate you. I appreciate everyone watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.